Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the show. I'm Ben Stiller, and uh, our special guest this week is Dennis Miller. Dennis. Hey, Ben. Thanks for doing the show. It's Thanks great for having me here in the Valley of the Handheld. I'd like to uh, say hi to you, the six to eight people out there who actually watch this show. Yes, you, Mr. and Mrs. America, out there on Channel Pi in Minnesota. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in tonight. One of the few shows in America that makes me feel like Jimmy Arness, ratings-wise. Hey, I'm the monge on a little packing crate material. I think it's from Sony Trinitron. First, they watched a baby. Where's my hairspray? Right here. Then, a little lady. I'll get it! Now, America's three favorite bachelors are back, and they've got someone new to watch over. Who are you? I'm an old man. It's three men and an old man. Come on, you want to look nice, don't you? Ah! Perfect. Oh, you're looking so cute. Come on, have some fun, old man. Come on. Woo! Uh-oh, what smells? You smelled it. You, you fix it. Please stop. I've had enough. <laughs> Maybe we should have gone out to eat. I can build humongous skyscrapers and huge bridges. Don't tell me I can't figure out an adult diaper. And then my prostate blew up. Toto, toto, ole! <laughs> I had the operation, but it got infected. Listen to me! Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Boom, 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 boom. Three men and an old man. Coming soon to a theater near you. Let's rock and roll! want to talk to Mrs. Wilson, why don't you want to talk to Charlie? You think if you don't talk to me, I'll go away, but I can't go away because I'm not even here. I'm a ghost of a phantom of a shadow in the heart of your children. Manson! I... Oh, hi, Bernice. Manson thinks he's helping by answering the phone. Scoot. I tell you, I wish I had 25 hours in a day so I could get something done around here. Hey, Mom, I'm going to go catch some toads. Well, take Manson with you. He's underfoot today. Come on, boy. Whoa! Where's the fire? Be careful, you two. Oh, no, Bernice. He's not anyone's children. He just likes to say that. Darn that big old toad. I can hear him, but I can't find him. Manson, you lift up this rock, and I'll try to shoot him up my knee. Ribbit, ribbit. I was raised in a prison. I don't know any other way. I like it. Prison's my mother. Come on. Ah! Oh, I've been bit. Quick, miss, run home and tell Mom and Dad that I'm bit. I've been bit, too, and I like it. The truth don't play no favorites. Bite on that, Jack. Hurry before the poison starts hooking in. Hurry, boy. 
When's dinner? I'm star. Hold your horses, mister. You got to walk it like you're talking. Wop, bop, bloop, bop, bop, bam, boom. Hush, Manson, I'm fixing dinner. I'll fix brain stew for dinner when I'm the cook, Jack. Shh, what has gotten into you, boy? And where's Timmy? Timmy? I don't know. I got the eye of the tiger, and I don't know who to kill first. Are you trying to tell us something, boy? You can lock me up, but you can't block me up. I'm so insane, I'm sane. Good Lord, he's trying to tell us Timmy's in trouble. What happened, boy? Did Timmy have an accident by the lake? Accident? There are no accidents. Don't give me that jive, Jack. There is only the plan, and everything else is jack -a <laughs> Timmy got bit by a snake, and, and the poison's going to start working soon. <laughs> but we don't have time. Wait. We've got to get there. Show us the way. Show us the way, boy. Good boy. Dad, I was trying to catch a toad, and well, I thought he was under the rock. But... It's OK, Timmy. Manson told us all about it. Once we started listening to him, that is. If you don't listen, you don't hear. You can't hear nothing when your head's in a bag, Jack. Boom! Right there, man. Good boy. Clean it up. Lay it down. Good boy. All right, we're here with Dennis Miller. And Dennis, I mean, it's just really great to have you here. It's Thanks, really exciting. Man. Have you seen the show? I love the show. Oh, quite good. the little comedic star chamber you've assembled here, my <laughs> friend, huh? <laughs> love the cast. You got uh, Janine Garofalo, Little Miss right. Post Everything, Lucy Van Helsing to Robert Smith's Count Dracula, Wild Hairdo, sort of like Peter Gabriel on the Foxtrot tour with Genesis. Yeah. Yeah, Andy her. Dick. Andy Dick, Martin Short stretched out on a rack for two and a half, three hours. <laughs> Andy, great name. Don't change it. Look good on a marquee someday when you're doing films. Parents show up, think you're doing gay porn, okay? <laughs> um, uh, who else Bob we got? Odenkirk. Bobby Odenkirk yeah. used to be a writer for Saturday Night Live, a That's faceless right. scribe. Now out in front of the camera and still can't meet any women at all. Ouch. Yeah. Well, that, about, that about sums up the cast. No, you. Right at the hub. The guy, man. You're the man. Thank you. Also had a cup of coffee at Saturday Night Live. Bailed out when he found there was no <laughs> IN team. Headed up the river like Kurtz. Runs his own little microcosm of the world up there. Damn it, the rules are just what he wants them to be. Got himself a little caster on him so he doesn't look too autocratic. But don't get too funny, kids. Might be Hoffaville. I love the show. Thank you. All right. Well, that... Let's go to a little film. Let's... That's your part. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Send in Al Pacino. Hi. Hi. Did you get a chance to look at the sides? Yes, I did. Do you know it's a comedy? Yes, it's a comedy. Uh, yes, very funny. Very funny piece of work here. Great. So, how about some improv? Sure, let's... Why don't we just, uh, you know... Have fun with it. We have fun with it. All right, let me explain okay. it. You've just come back from a hard day at work to discover the dog Beethoven has destroyed your favorite chair. Go. All right, this is the dog here. This mm -hmm. would be Beethoven, all right? And uh, what do we got over here? There's no chair, so we'll put a chair here. Just use your imagination. All right. Uh, look at this. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, huh? You ruined my chair. That's my chair, and it's ruined, all right? You want a chew toy? We get you a chew toy, OK? Because that's the way we do things here, booby, all right? And I'll tell you something else. I know it was you, Beethoven. I know it was you. It breaks my heart. That's it. That's it. I don't know where else to go with that. Because the dog ate my chair. That's great. Um, just leave a picture and resume uh, with my assistant on your way out. I got another idea on this thing. If you just... What about something like this? Come on. Frisk me. You want to frisk me? Come on, Beethoven. Oh, Beethoven. You want to do that? Because I could go that way with it, you know? No, you were great. I really... Right. Uh, Maybe some dancing, you know? Just, uh, could you tell the assistant on your way out that I'm ready for the next act tour? Freeze! Just, don't you come any closer, all right? That's right. You just stay right there, okay? You stay right there because you're not going to hire me. It's, it's undecided yet. I mean, I, it's, not even, it's not even up to me. I don't need this, you know? I don't need this. I don't need any of this crap. Pie fits face, so throw it. 
Seltzer fits bottles, so spray your baby down. Floppy shoes fit feet, so wear them. And the dirty toes they adorn remind you of some clown you once knew in some hot tent long ago. Familiar as these baggy pants that fit like a glove. Like the bearded lady coming back for more. Curved into the shape of a blimp, like they were custom made to do just that. Two more names to the list of people who we think are up to something, but we're not sure what it is. The list of America's most suspicious. Good evening from Washington, D.C. It's Sunday, February 18th, and I'm Danny Bonaducci. You know, between you and me, this world is crawling with weirdos, people involved in strange activities. You know the kind. Well, at America's Most Suspicious, it's our job to find these freaks and get them put away. To date, your tips have led to the arrest of 86 people with no convictions. At the top of tonight's news, the case of Ed Janik. According to Mr. Janik's neighbors, the Gradshaws, Mr. Janik's a real Looney Tune. Well, it all started when Laura was out tending her spice garden. I was working with the dill when all of a sudden something caught my eye. It was Mr. Janik naked running from his garage to his home. And then I heard this really odd music, something like a tuba. A tuba or a French horn, we don't know. Right, and all of a sudden, he appears in the window in a tuxedo, and he was singing opera. Tell him about the chicken and the fish. He's holding poultry and a fish and singing to them and then repeatedly striking them and just throws them to the ground. And then he starts taking pictures of me. She came in the house crying. I grabbed a golf club and ran over to Janik's house. Open this door. Knock, knock, knock. Let me in. What is going on out here? I want to know what the hell you think you're up to, mister. What are you talking about? What are you up to? I have been in the basement all day working on pottery. Pottery? What about the naked running and the fish singing and the opera? And You're I'm... a lunatic. You're freaking listen, us out. Listen, I have something in the kiln. Well, in the kiln? What is he making? What is he up to? That's what we'd like to know. The police said he hadn't done anything illegal. I guess freaking your neighbors out is legal. <laughs> Calm down. Ed Jenick, if you're watching this and you want to admit to something, Call us. Try to explain what's going on in that fruity little head of yours. Good luck. Now an update. Van Olander, that strange old bird who never cut his lawn, well, he finally showed his stripes. He tried to rob a bank. <laughs> well, we forwarded Van's file over to America's Most Wanted. Finally, please keep your eyes peeled for the O'Connors. They're a pair of first-class weirdos who have their whole neighborhood freaked out. It is very unsettling. They just sit in that car for hours listening to square dance music. What are they up to? We're surrounded by freaks. Why won't the police do anything? <laughs> Say the prayer. God grant me the wisdom to accept change the things I, I can't change. <laughs> and to change to the, the things, things I, I cannot can. accept. I Until next week, this is Danny Bonaducci for America's Most Suspicious saying, when you smell a rat, call us. We want to smell it too. Good night. I'm ready for Sandra. Sandra Bernhardt. Hello, Miss Thing. Would you look at you? You are looking good. I am jiving all over you. Let me lick you. Mmm, poison, right? Well, enough of this. We gotta get to it. Did you get a chance to read the script? I loved it. I was jiving all over it. I licked every page. I know. The Mighty Ducks is the most brilliant script we've had in here in years. So let's get to it. I hope you don't mind, but I made a few adjustments. That's great. Make it your own. All right. Look at you kids, my little Gretzkys. I love you. I want to stick toothpicks in you and eat you like hors d'oeuvres. People! 
Take your long, hard, curvy sticks and shoot it in. I am so jivingly proud of all of you. I feel like giving birth and suckling each and every one of you. I love you. And then I could do a song. Do, 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 do. Hang on, I want to make a note. You know, Dennis, I just want to say I was a really big fan of your show. I thought it was great. You had interesting people on, and just I'm sorry it's not on the air anymore. Oh, well, thanks, Ben. That's yeah. nice of you. Hey, and you know what? I'm, I'm telling you, there are life lessons to be learned out there after a cancellation. You really, you know, you get on the other side of that pain, and I think you find out something about yourself that you don't know. So don't fret about cancellation. It's, it's you know, it's an opportunity. You should view it like that. What, did you... Did you bend? Did I've you heard hear nothing. I've okay. heard nothing. Come on. But you know, you don't have to be quick quick to read the bones here. There could be a chance here. You know, I'm not Kreskin, but I got my ear down to the track and I hear the silver streak coming. But you will rise above it. You'll be bigger and you'll learn. You learn about your guts. What's in right. here? I'm looking this forward to that. Matter. Yeah, this is all, you know what? But I haven't heard anything about the show. Is Fox is as committed to it as they are to Herman's prostate or whatever the hell that show is. <laughs> All right, why don't, we, why don't we go to this? <laughs> Skank will not be seen tonight in order to bring you a special presentation. Fox. 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 Hi, I'm Foxy the Network Fox, inviting you to join me for a wonderful Fox program brought to you in full-fledged Foxorama. A wop bop a loop a wop bam fox Live from beautiful Pig Latin Island, it's the Pig Latin Lovers Variety Bay Actacular Spay. Join international singing sensation Tito Gallegos and his special guests Dolly Parton, Susan Anton, Rip Taylor, and the All American Football Team. But Spay officer, I wasn't way eating Spay. Your little pal here was doing 50 miles an hour in a 30 mile zone. I snay oinge Addy hey. <laughs> Officer, ude uye one ue I am. Oh, yes, sir. You're Tito Gallegos, the pig Latin lover. Okay, here you go. Thank you, uye. Officer Taylor. Rip Taylor. And now, Arihe, on to the Essel Spay! Ashme, Arihe! Ha ha! Ho ho! Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tito Gallegos! Hey, hey! Old day and ante and unge and of lile ide elge and fre ip. Panima Oske Okingwe and Enwe Ishe Asses Pay each on way Ishe Asses Pay Oske. Ah. Hey! He's a big, big Latin lover and he's real swap. You will discover and when he sings, the young girls of us all sit right back and enjoy the show. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Phil. And out the way, Ute, Utumul Bay, in Bay, at the Lay Island. Uye, one, What do you I... mean, this ain't Fantasy Island? I want to talk to Mr. Roar. Roar! Only day out in Bay, it is Lay and Edelman Jay. On the day I out here, Uye? I hope so. This is supposed to be Fantasy Island, and I want to get my fantasy. Tell the way I'm at me, Mr. May, or the way, at me, I Ude, have an fantasy. What's that? Ute, Irde, Uye, Inse. Well, you don't have to ask this old country gal twice. <laughs> Tumble out of bed and stumble to the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition and yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Ha ha! I'm the old chain. I play upstairs, up big bay. Out on the east stray and up to the outside, up big jay. It's way okay, I play email on the object of the I know they I play. I'm 
Martin Baby. Uh, okay. Ej, gud. Ujævne, ir herren ikke pæ, at den lager ejlig. Ja, ja. Og lille unge Edisle. Thank you, pæ. Do we have any very special pæ, ikke pæ, ikke pæ, ikke pæ, Especially pæ. Excuse me, Mr. Guy Agam. It's I may ever may usen se anton. Oh, thank you. I, uh, look at Mr. Gallegos. I know you're in the middle of a special, and I really hate to bother you, but I was outside working on my car, and I was wondering, could you loan me some bolt cutters? Um, say, Atway? Bolt cutters. Atway? Bolt bay cutters gay. Ha ha! I inte, I ante, ante, uye, ate. Ere, uye, oye, ame, ante. I gotta move. Who's in say Anton? That way, that's the only day I'm the only way 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 Hotel accommodations provided by Pig Latin Plaza. Hey kids, it's me, Foxy the Fox Network Fox. Skank returns next week, and limbs will be flying when his kids get gangrene. It'll be Fox Fantastic Horrific Courageous. <coughs> Okay, well that's about it. Dennis, thanks for doing the show. Did you have fun? Ben, oh, thanks for thanks. having me, man. I hope I have I helped you a little mentally. Did I get inside you did, that vein and calm you down? You it's definitely that... did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a good time and I tell you, I love the show. If I could make one qualification, and I hate to do this, but I do a lot of things I hate. Um, you're not out there enough, Ben. Mm -hmm. Shooting the short films, all the heavy editing, going into the lab, doing the post-op. I don't know that's that you, man. You gotta be out there. You gotta be out there, like, doing it freeform, on right. the edge, like Julie Brown. And no, I don't mean Wubba 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 from Lancaster. England. I mean, you know, the real well, edge. That's what we aspire to, but Cage, I... take the point. Get out there, damn it. Okay. Somebody's gotta front this whole operation, and you should be the guy. Forget the editing. Forget all that crap. Just... Well, that's it. So we'll see you next week. I know judo and a kiddo. You like that? How about this? You think I'm a, a mere pet? I'll pet you. I'll pet the whole world with a knife. And then I'll rock it to sleep. Go. I'm outside. Yeah. <laughs>